everyone. How is everyone on today? Wanted to bring you some sad news on uh, Joseph Marley. He is the grandson of Bob Marley, and he was found deceased in his car uh, at the age of 31. It is being reported that he passed away of an asthma attack. So he's also known as Joe Mercer. Joe Mercer. So Joseph um, Mer uh, Joe Mercer Marley, um, and he was found unresponsive. So the South Florida radio station W. ZPP reported that Joseph, the grandson of reggae legend Bob Marley, died of an asthma attack. Title just posted to Twitter honoring the late artist. The post read, forever in our hearts. Rest in peace, Joe Mercer Marley. He debuted in 2014, releasing through time, uh, iTunes and Spotify and EP Comfortable. He also appeared on the Grammy-winning album Strictly Roots by Morgan Heritage. The official autopsy report uh, results are not in yet. Uh, they have not yet been revealed, but however, he leaves behind family. Uh, he leaves behind his famous father, Stephen Marley, and Uncle Ziggy Marley. The Burn It Down singer is also survived by his wife and daughter. He spent his early years in Jamaica before he moved to Florida. He studied studio engineering at Miami-Dade College, according to the 2014 article by the Jamaica Observer. At the time, Joe told the outlet that the only challenge he faced was maintaining the lofty standards of the Marley name. My father has created a legacy by putting out songs with meaning. It's something I have to live up to, he said. Southern Florida radio station WZPP reported on Instagram that the confirmed cause of Joe Mercer's death is an asthma attack. However, the update did not specify the location where the asthma attack occurred. The official autopsy results for Joe Mercer's death have not yet been released. Uh, he also, if you know about his um, music career, he also um, he did a second album, which is Eternal, and that was released last year, and it also features six singles with artists like uh, Millie, Black A, uh, M I, Busy Signal, and Kabaka Pyramid. Uh, throughout the years, Joe Mercer will go on to appear in songs with artists like Faruko, Jesse Rawl, and his father, Stephen. Now, like his family, uh, Joe, he followed in their footsteps and he released his debut album, Comfortable, in 2014. The six-song EP followed, uh, it featured, excuse me, fellow Jamaican reggae stars, Jameer Morgan and Wayne Marshall. He also appeared on Morgan Heritage Grammy winning Strictly Roots album the following year. Now, the popular streaming service title posted a tribute to Joseph Marley on Twitter. Um, and so just condolences out to his family. Rest in peace. He is another black man, you know, uh, that has gone home too soon. At the age of 31, he has already gone home and he leaves behind his wife and a son. And so, um, you know, it's not easy for families. I know in, uh, you know, in this, um, climate, you know, that we're in of a lot of, uh, you know, um, people passing away, family members, husbands, wives, but mainly a lot of black men and look at Twitch, you know, he took his own life is what is, has allegedly been reported by suicide, but we're seeing a lot of black men passing away or even taking their own lives, or, be, or even being murdered, you know, and it seems like we just can't even breathe, you know, uh, comfortably before we're hearing about another loss, and we are seeing where uh, Sinful the P passed away, uh, you know, and so it's, it, it, it's hard to, to, you know, it's just hard, you know, to keep hearing about these deaths, and so anyway, Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness shared a tweet honoring Joseph Marley. His uh, untimely passing at the young age of 31 years of age is a huge loss to the music. As we look to the next generation, Holness wrote, he added his untimely passing at the young age of 31 years old is a huge loss, uh, you know, is what he's, he went on to say again. Uh, you know, in his untimely passing, he also said that his heartfelt sympathies went out to Joseph's friends and associates and to the reggae music fraternity and fans everywhere. And then there's the reggae musician, you know, Shaggy. He posted a picture of Joe Mercer on his Instagram with a heartfelt caption. So saddened by the news of the passing of this young king, Shaggy wrote, sending prayers and condolences to the Marley family. 
And so, you know, Joseph, uh, you know, he grew up in a family of musicians and he did an interview, you know, in the past with the Rolling Stones. And he said it was a very magical thing seeing those people come around to the house and how the whole work process would happen. I would come home and try to do homework, but I'd end up getting distracted and go peek in the studio. You would always want to run in and run out to see what was going on. And he also did a performance with his dad in 2016. Uh, he, uh, his step, uh, excuse me, with his dad, Stephen Marley, at the Pompano, uh, Pompano Beach Amphitheater. And then there's the Jamaican opposition leader, Mark Golding, said on Twitter, I've just learned of the tragic loss of Joseph Joe Mercer Marley, a talented young reggae artist, son of Stephen Marley and grandson of Bob Marley at only 31 years old. The president of the People's National Party continued, the loss of a child is a devastating blow no parent should face. My condolences to Stephen and the entire family. Now, they go on to talk about uh, Bob Marley's death, where he collapsed while jogging in Central Park, New York, doing his final tour. And he played his last ever gig in Pittsburgh in September 1980. And then he canceled all remaining live dates and flew to Germany for a controversial diet-based treatment under uh, Joseph uh, Izzers. And after eight months, the treatment proved unsuccessful and Bob boarded a plane home to Jamaica. However, on the flight, his condition worsened. The plane was diverted and he was rushed to a hospital in Miami. He died at the Cedars of Lebanon Hospital on May 11, 1981. And so, you know, his father passed away of an acrolytigenous melanoma, his grandfather. And so a form of skin cancer, which had been diagnosed in 1977, spread it from under a nail of his toe. He discovered the melanoma during a game of football in 1977 when a foot injury seemed unusually bad and worsened over time. When doctors discovered the cancer, he was advised to have his toe amputated but refused as his Rastafarian faith considers it a sin to have a part of the body temple removed. He did consent to a skin graft, but this didn't stop the disease spreading throughout his body by the summer of 1980. Uh, Joseph Marley's grandpa, Bob Marley, had four children with his wife, Rita, who, who he married in Kingston, Jamaica in 1966. He also adopted two of her kids from her previous relationships and acknowledges five others from different women. Although many other individuals have claimed to be his children two over the years, Marley only officially recognized 11. Four of the Marley siblings even formed the reggae group Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers on the request of their father after his death. Um, so they go on, you know, to talk about... Um, you know, the grandfather passing away and um, um, how many siblings that Joseph had. Joseph had 10 siblings. According to his estate, Bob Marley left 11 children behind when he died, including Stephen. And like his late father, Stephen had at least 11 ch children, many are musicians. And their names are Joseph Mercer, Joe Mercer Marley, Zephora Marley, Johan Marley, Layla Marley, uh, Shasha or Shasia Marley, uh, Bingy Marley, Naya Marley, Summer Marley, Mystic Marley, Sasha Marley, and Jeremiah Marley. Uh, he leaves behind, let's see, Joe leaves behind award-winning dad, uh, Stephen. He was the fourth-born child and second-born son of Bob Marley, and he is an eight-time Grammy Award winner for his solo work, family collaborations, and production work. He grew up in Kingston, Jamaica, where music ran through his blood. At seven years old, he began his professional singing career when he joined older siblings Ziggy, Sharon, and Sidella in their group called the Melody Makers. Uh, he leaves behind his famous father, Stephen Marley, Uncle Ziggy Marley, and the Burn It Down singer is also survived, survived by his wife and daughter. Now, Joe Mercer, he spent his early years in Jamaica before he moved to Florida. He studied studio engineering at Miami Dade College, according to the article, um, Let's see what else happened to him. So there's a lot of tributes that are continually going out, uh, you know, to him. Uh, a lot of the tributes and everything like that. So, um, you know, again, rest in peace to Joseph Joe Mercer Marley. Uh, condolences to the family, his father, Stephen, 
and any of his siblings, uh, you know, that I've named and family members, of course, friends and family and anyone that came in contact with Joseph Joe Mercer Marley. Uh, condolences to you. I am sorry for your loss. A young king gone too soon at the age of 31. So leave your comments below, uh, you know, your respectful comments. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to share this video for people that may not know that he has passed away. Um, you know, give the video a thumbs up. God bless you all on today.